day of our big garden party. After breakfast, I went to the yard to make sure everything was in order. Miss, hey, miss, I'm one of the workmen here to set up the marquee. Where would you like us to put it? Um, right over there is good, thank you. All right, mateys, yeah, herder, let's set up the marquee right over there. Aha, he seems like such a mature man, I thought. Why can't the silly boys I dance with be more like him? If only it weren't for these ridiculous class distinctions. Laura, coming, mother. Laura, are the workmen here to set up the marquee? Yes, mother. Good, the guests should be arriving shortly. Oh, look, Laura, your brother has arrived. Hello, mother. Hello, Laura. It seems there's been a terrible tragedy. A man living in one of those little cottages down the hill has been killed. Oh, my, what happened? He was thrown off his horse and hit the ground head first. Left behind a wife and six kids. Mr. Scott was his name, I believe. Well, we better go ahead and cancel the party. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Laura. Why would we cancel the party? Well, mother, his family is mourning and they live right outside the gate. They wouldn't want to hear a band and see us having a party. Laura, stopping a band is not going to bring a drunken workman back to life. Who said he was drunk? I rushed into my room in a fit of rage. I looked in the mirror and saw a charming girl in a beautiful dress, ready for a party. For a moment, the image of the family carrying a body into the house became blurred. The party would go on whether I liked it or not. The people began to arrive in streams. Oh, it's a magnificent party. I love your hat, Laura. Oh, it's wonderful food. Eventually, the party ended. Well, Laura, we had quite a successful party. Aren't you glad we didn't cancel it? Yes, Mother. Oh, I just had the most magnificent idea. Why don't we take this basket of leftovers to that poor creature who lost her husband today? It would be quite the treat for the children. Mother, are you sure that's a good idea? Of course it's a good idea, Laura. What is the matter with you today? Go ahead and take the basket. Yes, Mother. I left the gates of the manor and made my way down to the little village at the bottom of the hill. I remembered how Mother used to forbid Laurie and I from playing in this village as children. Excuse me, is this Mrs. Scott's house? Yes, Mum, it is. Thank you. I knocked on the door and was greeted by a woman. Hello, is um Mrs. Scott home? Come with me, Mum. Mrs. Scott is right over there. Sitting in front of the fireplace was a crying woman. Please excuse her, Miss, but she's grieving the loss of her husband. I'm Mrs. Scott's sister, by the way. I couldn't stand being in the room one moment longer. I ran away and searched for a front door. Instead, I came across the dead body, lying in a bedroom. I couldn't help but burst into tears. I found my way to the door and walked back towards the manor. Hello, Laura. Are you alright? What Was it awful? No, Laurie. It was simply marvellous. So slight, isn't it? Isn't it?